This is the break between episodes. Du, du, du. Hi, this is Zozzy from Zozzy Games. I am very dark right now, but welcome back to another episode of Curtain Call. The case, the the case, the map where we are solving the case of a woman who has been kidnapped, an actress of a theater. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. And hi, that's me. It's me. It's your little awkward Zazie that speaks in a weird American accent sometimes, but this is not anymore. That, bleh, let me just stop. Let me just stop speaking and I'm going to go back to Mr. What's his name? Arthur Bradson. I have nothing else to do, sir. I've gone to all the places. There is nothing else I can see. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. This is a set, so that's not much of that's not of much use. Have I got what have I got on? I've still got my fancy stuff on. And I got these headphones, but you're supposed to wear them to listen to them. But nothing's happening. There must be some part of the theatre I'm missing. Maybe if I take off shaders it will be much easier to actually see what I'm missing. Video settings, shaders, and off with your head! Why does this happen to me? I don't know what to do! Oh, wait, wait, is that- That's a person! What are you doing here? Hello? Director Hansen! Hello again. I- I can't remember how he speaks, so I'm just gonna do it in random voice. Hello again! I did not properly introduce myself! I am Thomas Hansen, the director of this train wreck. Oh. Very positive about this show, are we? Highly. Haha. <laughs> I'm guessing you want to know about Charlotte's disappearance. Yep. Where were you? I was sitting in the front of, of the theater. I checked on the orchestra just before the lights dimmed. I assume the orchestra can vouch for that? Did you see anything strange that night? Yes. And nothing out of the ordinary. Charles was running late, getting to a spot as usual. Nicholas was in place as far as I know. Jonathan was chatting to Trina. Same old, same old. I see. You also mentioned you were the one that told Bradson to contact me. Yes, he did not want anyone but the police involved. Understood. Well, I best be off. Later. That was everyone. L have we added Hansen? We should add Hansen. Hanson? In front of the... Oh, shoot. Theater checked on... Orchestra. Orchestra. Okay, that is everyone that we need to meet. Sazi Fox, could you come to the main theater, please? Guess I'm needed back to Hansen. I'm, al I'm already, I'm already here. So, <laughs> so what have you found? Not much, to be honest. Very little to go off of. I was worried about that. Hansen! George. I can't remember what George speaks like either. Oh, no. Should I leave? Please don't. I may need you to get me out of this. Hansen, will you kindly ma tell Miss Newton here to kindly leave? I'm not doing anything. What did Bradson say? Bradson wasn't in his office like usual. You're second in command of this sinking ship. Do something! Zazie Fox, did you happen to see what Miss Newton was doing backstage? Driving me crazy! To be honest, I really did not see much. She was kind of just standing back there talking to Mr. Lyons. You did not see what she was doing before! One second. Jonathan, did you happen to see Talia backstage? Everyone did! This is not awkward at all. Yes, she was. She was hanging around the curtain controls but not really doing anything. Thanks, Jonathan. No problem. Well, it seems she wasn't causing any problems. Ah! You will have to excuse him. He thinks the curse is not real. Curse? Hansen! The sinking ship analogy is suddenly accurate. Hansen, I need help in the costume room now! Zazie Fox, could you go help Trina? I think I need to talk to George. If you want to learn more about the curse, I will be around. Sure, and okay. I better help Trina out first. Poor Hansen. Let's go talk to Trina. Trina, my dear, what do you need help with? 
I'm a bit peckish, so let me have a few apples, maybe, maybe some bread, you know, sort of, oh, not the, I don't want to eat the list of people, that would not be good. You're still standing here, don't you have better things to do? Honestly, these people. I'm just gonna keep shaders off while we're in the theatre because it is a bit dark. Hello? Trina! Where is Hansen? Oh, he sent me to... Great! Someone came in here and completely destroyed these costumes! Sabotage? You're the detective! You tell me! All I know is I need to get these things fixed! Here! That is the explanation of the costumes that need to be put together. Can you do that? Got it. This is the same fabric that I found in Charlotte's room. Wonder why it's hidden here. Costume storage key. Charlotte's dressing room key. We have a key and, and a list of instructions somewhere. Costume. Okay, let's pop this away and let's have a look at the costume guidelines. Color themes to be used. Pirate Captain Hart. What does that mean? Black and gray. Nathaniel Bradson. Ah, I see these are all the characters. Lived in town. White, black and blue. Myra Isle, island leader. Purple, light green, white. Townsfolk, black, grey, light, grey and blue. Pirate first mate, grey and orange. Generic pirate crew, grey, orange, light, grey, sorry, grey, light, grey and cyan. Islander one, magenta and light green. Islander two, light blue and light green. General costume rules. Clothing items should have no more than two colours applied to them. Each colour listed for a character should be used on at least one of their clothing items, but no more than two of them. All pirates should have iron boots. People from the island do not wear shoes. People from the town wear the same black boots. Oh man, this is so complicated. Is costume storage just these locked things? It is. Uh, oh, those are boots. Those are tops. Oh, this is going to be a bother. Two hours later. All right, everyone. I think we are on our last like costume. I hope so. I really do. Uh, I think it's just this first mate. Eh. <gasps> there! That's all of them. Oh my gosh, that took forever. Okay, there. That is all of them. I should see if I could find Talia and learn more about this curse. Perfect! Oh, such excitement. Okay, let's go find Talia. Talia is the historian, I believe, and also I've kind of- oh, Excuse me, Miss Newton. One sec, Miss Newton. I just need to finish talking to my audience here. I've decided I can't- oh, I should probably put all these back. What's this? That's my fancy cap. Okay, I think we're good. I can't remember what I was going to say now, but that doesn't matter, does it? Uh, oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I decided I don't want to write in this book anymore. I can't be bothered to write about everyone in the theatre. So we're just- Gonna have to look back on previous episodes if we ever need anything. Okay, Miss Newton, can I speak to you? Oh my, you gave me a fright. I wanted to learn more about this curse you spoke about. Ah yes, the curse of the gem of the lost isle. Oh, that is a long title. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> we are on the same page. Yes, I know it is quite a mouthful. So what's the deal? Well, many years ago, about 200 to be precise, about to be precise. This theater was bought by Nathaniel Bradson. Legend has it before Bradson settled here and bought this theater, he lived in a small port town. One day, he was shanghaied by the infamous pirate Captain Hart. One day the ship sailed into a foul storm. They struggled through it, but unfortunately shipwrecked on an island that was not depicted on any maps of the time. This was the Lost Isle. Not that silly story again. I don't remember his voice. We're going with it. Hello, Charles. You are not spouting that nonsense about the curse, are you? It is not nonsense. It is true. Pfft. It is nonsense. Now, if you excuse me, I need to find Bradson. He is never in his office. I love how they just pop in and out of you. They're like, oh, teleport. Did she I heard her talking about me. I heard her saying my name. Hello. Hmm, I should really check out Arthur's office if he is not there. Shall I continue? Sure. Well, when they crashed, they were greeted by the locals led by their queen, Myra Isle. 
Myra Isle. Ooh, so this is what this play is about. Uh, huh. Bradson befriended her. After a time, he learned of a legendary gem on the island that was said to bring the owner huh. great fortune. However, in the hands of a thief, it is cursed. Let me guess. He stole it. Huh. Who is the historian here? Me or you? Well, your story's a bit predictable, honey. The answer is me, but you are correct in your assumption. Apparently, he brought it back here, set up this theatre and hid the gem somewhere. Where exactly was never known. Interesting. Well, thanks for your time. Stop by any time. I wonder if Bradson is in his office. We better check it out. Check it out. Let go. Oh. I hate the dark. This is too dark for my liking. Let's... Uh, it's fine. Oh, what am I stuck on here? I'm not sure. Where's the flipping door of this place? There we go. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous. So if he's not in his office, then maybe we could have a bit of a snoopsy snoops. Mr. Bradson? Mr. Bradson, are you there? He's not here and the door is locked. Uh huh. Uh, Director Hansen. I can't remember his voice either. What in the world is going on? Is everyone all right? Again? I can't work in these conditions! Wait, is that Char- Oh, Charles Aberf. Uh, George Lyons. You can't work in- I just don't remember these voices. I'm just gonna do normal. You can't work in any conditions. Why, I never! Now, don't you two start Trina. Uh, I can't remember what Trina spoke like either. Nicholas, could you hurry up and get the power on? Has anyone seen Talia? I haven't. Oh, that's direct answer. I haven't. Could anyone see what is taking Nicholas so long? I will. Thanks. Be careful. Nicholas, who? Who da? Who did do? What is this? Oh, I forgot. So let's, who is Nicholas again? <laughs> Not Bradson. That's Arthur. What is taking who so long? Okay, you know what? We still have a list of people. So we can check that out. Arthur Bradson, Thomas Hansen, Charles Abworth, George Lyons, Parson, Kent, Trina, Nicholas Martin, lighting and sound. Okay, so that's the sound guy. That's fine. Why am I, I can't sprint. Why am I not sprinting? Come on, food, food me up. Let's go. Is it up here? Yes, good stuff. Right, what is taking you so long, Nicholas? Nicholas? Where'd you go? Are you there? Oh! Hello. Looks like I need to use the different color- Wait. He is not here, but here are the light controls. Looks like I need to use the different color circuits to get each row, column, and diagonal to the power number. Choose a circuit color. Stand on the wall to change that circuit component to that power color. Oh no. <laughs> to change an already colored circuit, use the error eraser first. Oh bother. Okay. Oh, okay. Eraser, five power, three power, one power. Check. Where are their numbers? I don't like the numbers. I, I didn't take physics at school. Now I kind of regret it. Okay. So we want Oh, is it each row needs to add up? Okay, so this one needs to add up to 14. Yes, okay. Yes, perfect. Good stuff. Okay, okay, this is easier than I thought. So this needs to be 10. So let's let's do five first, right? Let's pop them all down and then we'll check which one it's supposed to be. If it's even supposed to be any of them. Okay, one, five. And then the others obviously aren't supposed to be five. So let's try three now. Oh, we have to use the eraser, of course. I forgot. Whoops. It's fine. It's fine. We can erase all of these and then we can do three. In fact, do you want to just go over it in all of these? All of these with three. And then we'll check. Because that seems like the fastest way to do this. Like I'm just randomly connecting them. I'm not, I'm not a maths whiz, okay? So we're just going to do it this way. Okay, that's fine. Let, let's use the eraser to get rid of all of these. Okay, so this row is done. That row is done. And this row needs that to be purple. Okay, that's that's okay. That's fine. That's all right. Let's do purple then. This should do it. And it works. Perfect. There. I wonder where Nicholas is. 
Well, since he isn't here, a little snooping couldn't hurt. I mean... Oh! Microphone system. Please select microphone. Mic 1. Absworth is singing. <laughs> right, that is enough of listening to Charles. Uh, Parson, sure you all are right, George? Yeah, I don't mean to sound angry all the time, but with Charles Charles be like, being well, Charles, Talia always snooping around backstage, and Juliana now obsessed with playing Charlotte's role. <gasps> I understand. It is stressful. Don't worry. The show will be fine. I promise. Interesting. So Talia is snooping. We already knew that. And Juliana is now obsessed with playing Charlotte's role. Okay. Kenton. Charlotte? Oh, how did I get myself into this? I swear. Next, see, they, earful. <gasps> Charlotte must still be in the building. I better hurry and listen to the rest of these microphones. So wait, who was that? So that was Kenton. Who is Kenton? Is that Charlotte, Charlotte Kenton? Stage left. <gasps> Curtains ABE, Talia Newton. Oh, ja. Jeez. Okay, stage right, Trina. Shh, I'm not here. Why are you hiding over there? Trying to get a moment's peace from Juliana. Please don't tell Juliana I'm here. Poor Trina. Okay. Mm, so that was... Was that center stage? Uh, no it wasn't. Trina, oh, where in the world did she run off to? I have costumes to try on. That is plenty. And spare. Not again. That's Bradson. He must have the spare. Where did I leave my spare key? There, I'll just put this back. Spare key? That could be useful. Okay. I definitely heard something on Kenton's mic. It's either her or the kidnapper. What are you doing here? Getting the lights back on. Where were you? Oh, I, well, I sort of care to elaborate. I fell asleep again in the balcony of the theater. I went to check on some cables and got a little break. And took a little break. And fell asleep. Tired. Extremely. Along with working the stage lights, Arthur has me doing other electronical repairs around the theatre. He doesn't hire someone? Absolutely not. He has George, Hanson, and even Jonathan working around here. Well, that explains quite a bit. Good alibi. Please don't tell Hanson. I will explain it to him. Okay. I'm going to see if Bradson is in his office. Hello? Bradson? Not here again. Wonder if I can find a spare key. It has to be in this room somewhere. This... is this... <gasps> Bradson's office spare! Oh my gosh, I thought that was a... whatever you call them. I can't remember. I am in. Snooping time! Okay, good stuff. We can snoop in all these cabinets now. Password protected, of course. Fabric receipt, light bill, heating bill. Oh, password. That's the ticket. Creeper of the theater. So those are all like different plays. You are a super sleuth. What is this? Okay, th so those are all the scripts. Okay, let's see. Welcome, Bradson. You have free messages. Payment. Hello, Mr. Bradson. Just a reminder, your bill for the theater's electricity, heat, and water is coming due. I need to send it off soon. Martin Anders. Okay. Auction results? Greetings, Mr. Bradson. Thank you again for choosing Auctions R Us for your auctioning needs. Unfortunately, your authentic theatre lights lamps were not purchased at this time. We will be in touch should a buyer come for forward. Thank you. Oh, overdraw warning. This is an automated warning from your bank. Your account blah, 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 has been overdrawn. You will receive a penalty of $50. If you feel this was sent incorrectly, please contact your agent for more information. So that's all I can find. I have the feeling that he is a bit... In debt, perhaps? <gasps> a journal? Well, here I am, alive. I finally found some paper on this old musty ship. It is the fourth or fifth day of my capture. I believe I should try and document what is happening to me, since I have no idea whether or not I will ever make it home again. Well, you know what? That's all fine and dandy, but I think this is about time to end this episode. Oh, so much stuff is happening. This is so exciting. Okay, okay. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Curtain Call, where we contacted we contacted the missing person. Isn't this exciting? But anyway, if you did, then please go down to the comments below. Let me know what you enjoyed about it, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, foxes!